Michael Carroll spent his childhood believing that his father George had abandoned him and his three siblings. He was only a baby, so he did not remember him. But he knew his father was a Korean War veteran and a good man, so something did not feel right. When George went missing from their Long Island home in 1961, his mother Dorothy forbade them from talking about it. I was always told, do not ask, Michael said in an interview with the New York Post. As a result, I stopped asking. Friends and family maintained that Dorothy despised discussing George's disappearance because he most likely returned to South Korea to start a new life with a woman he met there. However, after hearing stories about his father, Michael thought that it was out of character. Relatives concluded, joking that his father could be buried in the basement. He never considered the possibility that they were serious. When Michael bought the family home after his mother Dorothy died in 1998, he could not help but think about what people had said about the basement every time he went down for a spare light bulb. It's something that's been talked about for years, he told WABC. We heard a wide range of stories. However, Michael's mother had remarried since then. It was unlikely that a body would have gone unnoticed in the years since his stepfather, Richard Darris, had moved into the house shortly after George went missing. Dorothy's second husband was Richard Darris. They met just before George disappeared while he was working as a handyman at the family home. Darius reportedly became a long-distance truck driver after his divorce from Dorothy and relocated to Nuevo Laredo, Mexico. Michael planned a trip to Mexico to question Darius because he could not get his father's mysterious disappearance out of his mind. Darius died unexpectedly the day before Michael was supposed to leave. The trail had gone cold after Michael's mother died. There was no evidence, no suspects, and Dorothy had not even reported George missing when it occurred. So there was no police report to review. But just as Michael thought his search for the truth was coming to an end, his son received a strange phone call that sent chills down his spine. A paranormal investigator on the other end of the line informed Michael's son that she had a strange vision and felt compelled to contact him. Michael had previously heard of con artists like her who preyed on the victims of tragedies to cash in. Michael grabbed the phone when his son mentioned the energy in the basement. Michael's house was visited by the psychic. He reasoned that he had nothing to lose and that she was not asking for money, but she was an odd lady. The woman appeared on high alert as they walked down the basement stairs. She eventually stopped in the middle of the room and pointed to the ground. The energy, it's coming from here, she said quietly. Michael did not want to destroy the basement of his childhood home on the orders of a crazy woman, but his curiosity got the best of him, and he bought a ground-penetrating radar. Surprisingly, the device picked up on something six feet beneath the concrete. It took Michael and his sons years to get down deep enough. Then, on Halloween night, Michael became paralyzed by what he discovered. They were weirdly twisted in a knot, Michael said. It was down and twisted in the dirt, not completely exposed. Through dental records and DNA testing, investigators were able to confirm that Michael had discovered his father's remains. Furthermore, they discovered that George had suffered from blunt force trauma to the back of his head. Michael's father had been murdered. I took a risk, and now there are so many loose ends here, 
Michael explained. There's a story behind the story behind the story, he said. George's disappearance was opened as a homicide investigation as a result of Michael's determined pursuit of justice, but Suffolk County Police had refused to comment on any potential suspects. Meanwhile, the family concentrated on George's military experience. The Carroll family buried their Korean War hero's father's remains, paying full military honors for his service to the country. While there are still several unanswered questions about his death, Michael has found some closure. It feels great to know that my dad is finally out of that crappy hole, he said. I cannot imagine living in my family home my whole life, not knowing that my missing father was buried beneath me. Tell me in the comments, who do you think murdered George? I will see you in the next one.